One of the latest mind-blowing announcements recently this week is Google's groundbreaking Soundstorm. It is an advanced AI tool that harnesses the latest capabilities in artificial intelligence to generate incredibly lifelike voiceovers. Utilizing a novel architecture, this tool represents a significant leap forward compared to previous voiceover technologies. However, it is important to acknowledge the potential risks associated with this powerful AI tool, making it one of the most impactful developments in the field. Soundstorm leverages the semantic tokens from AudioLM and incorporates bidirectional attention and confidence-based parallel decoding techniques. This innovative approach enables Soundstorm to effectively generate the tokens of a neural audio codec. The following demo goes beyond the surface level of voice quality and focuses on capturing the subtle nuances that make a voiceover sound human. Pay close attention to the pauses, intonations, and other minute details that contribute to the authenticity of the voice. Listen this. Did you hear about Google's paper on Soundstorm? Um, no, I must have missed it. What's, what's it about? Well, it's a parallel decoder for efficient audio generation. Uh, so it can even be used oh, yeah. to generate dialogues. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, like this one was generated by Soundstorm. Wait, what? Before diving into the numerous additional demos, it's crucial to highlight the significance of the subtle inflections we hear when someone speaks. These nuances play a vital role in determining whether a voice sounds genuinely human or not. However, Soundstorm excels in capturing these intricate details exceptionally well, making it a remarkably fascinating tool. Its ability to accurately reproduce these nuances is highly impressive and adds to the overall interest and value of Soundstorm. There are three components involved here is the text, the voice prompt, and the synthesized dialogue. First, we have the original audio of this text prompt, and listen it. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Now listen this synthesized dialogue. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Oh, that's great. I've always wanted to go to Greece. What was your favorite part? Uh, it's hard to choose just one favorite part, but... Look at this other example. Something really funny happened to me this morning. Oh, wow. What? Now listen this synthesized dialogue. Something really funny happened to me this morning. Oh, wow. What? Well, uh, I woke up, as usual. Uh-huh. Went downstairs to have, uh, breakfast. Another noteworthy aspect worth discussing is the distinction between prompted and unprompted generation in Soundstorm. To illustrate this, let me present another fascinating example. On the left, you can see the original audio, while on the right, you have the unprompted and prompted versions. It's intriguing to observe that the unprompted version resembles the voice of someone else, while the prompted version remarkably mimics the original voice. Pay close attention to the similarities between the original and the prompted version, as well as the distinctiveness of the unprompted version, which sounds like a different individual. Okay, let's play it. Mr. Metacroft the Elder, having not spoken one word thus far, himself introduced the newcomer to me. Now these are unprompted. Mr. Metacroft the Elder, having not spoken one word thus far, himself introduced the newcomer to me with a side glance at his sons, which had something like defiance. Let's explore an entirely different tool called Bark. While Soundstorm is an impressive AI tool for generating hyper-realistic voiceovers, Bark, developed by Suno AI, is a separate and notable innovation. Bark utilizes a transformer-based text-to-audio model and excels in generating lifelike speech in multiple languages. With Bark, you can make the AI-generated voice sing, laugh, or even change its tone. These advanced capabilities make Bark an exciting and innovative tool for users looking to enhance their AI-generated audio experiences. To explore Bark and its unique features, visit the GitHub repository and try out the various text prompts provided on the page. Look at this example. Hello, my name is Suno, and, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but I also have other interests, such as... In this passage, there is a mix of laughter and pauses, creating a lively atmosphere. Let's go for some other examples Bark can make any sound, even music, that you can think of. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. Bark does not believe that there is any essential difference between spoken language and music. I have a silky smooth voice, and today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. On rare occasions, though, Bark will instead use words to inspire his musical compositions. 
If you found this discussion on innovative AI tools like Soundstorm and Bark intriguing, remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest advancements in the field.